This is the best offense in Madden 23. It has explosive run plays. Run. Pass plays with unstoppable glitch routes. And one play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, break yourself, fool! Drop palms. Stick around after the intro. The champ is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to be using my New Orleans Saints offense and multi-D defensive ebooks as the Saints have been my favorite playbook going back several Maddens, and if you ask me, it should be considered the meta offense in Madden 23. In today's gameplay, I'm once again using my future Super Bowl champion Eagles, and if they win the Super Bowl, I might not use another team until Madden 24. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from these or any of my ebooks right now and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pin comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download the offense i'm going to be showing you guys today is from the gun tight offset te this has been one of my favorite offenses to use in madden for the last several years but i avoided it this year because it feels like everyone is using it now and i try to put out off meta plays but I did put out some previous content from this formation earlier in the year, so if you guys want to see more from this offense, I will have a link in the description and an on-screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that. The first adjustment you're going to want to make is to switch your packages to halfback one with the right stick, as it will switch out the tight end for a fourth wide receiver. I have a good tight end on this team, but speed is always the most important thing in Madden, so unless you have a really fast tight end, I recommend using this adjustment. After that, I'm going to set this offense up like I do my gun stack wide flex audibles. And the first play that I'm going to replace is the Saints spot shake, as the wheel route on this play gets open against any defense the exact same way it does with the drive age wheel play and i'll use it the exact same way after that i'm going to keep the inside zone as my one run play but sometimes i use the o1 trap here as well then i replace the bench play with the saints in as this is the best man beating play in this formation and last but not least i also have the pa shot scenes which is going to be a one play touchdown against just about every single defense of the game the last play i choose from my fifth play can change based off of what my opponent is running but i usually start off with the Saints spots it has a good mix of of man and zone beating routes. For the Saints spot, the only adjustment I have to make is to put the B route on a streak, and now the A route should get opening. It's just about any man or zone, and the running back should get open underneath any zone coverage as well. On the other side, the zig route is also a man beater, but sometimes I put him on a flat route to get open instantly against zone as well, and on the next play, the defender reacts very quickly, so I make a safe catch to fall just shy of the first down marker before picking it up on the ground the very next play. On the next play, I read that he's in a man zero or possibly even a cover one, so I switch over to the Saints in as every route here beats man coverage. Since he's already ran man cover one, I decide to motion out the B route just in case there's a hook zone lurking over the middle, and sure enough, it was a man coverage as I get a big play to get into field goal range. On the next play, he is still in man coverage. Another adjustment I like to make is to motion across the X receiver so that I can isolate the speed out route as it's probably the second best man beating route on this play. He tries to switch over to a zone coverage though, so I run it before he gets set as this route can get open underneath most zone coverages as well. On the next play, he starts to run the meta DB fire to blitz, so when I see it again, I switch over to the PA shot seams, as all you have to do is put this X route on a streak and motion out the B route, and now you can pick your poisons because every route here is a one play touchdown against cover two except for the X route. I decided to go with the B route because once I motion him out, I can tell that he would run right around the cornerback for a quick score. On defense, I will once again be using my cover two man out of the dime normal. I just put out a full breakdown of this defense in a video just yesterday, so if you guys missed that and want to see more, I'll once again have a link in the description and on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, as I will mostly be focusing on offensive plays in this video. But I definitely think this is the best defense in the game right now, as on the first play, I stop his run for a short gain before he hurries me up to the next play, only to find everything is locked up and takes a huge sack to get into a third and 26. He gets a few yards back on the next play before going for it on a fourth and 19 and picks it up on a smart routed curl route yeah. before taking a shot on the next play and it looked like it was covered but apparently gabriel davis is just that much faster than james bradbury Damn it. so now with the game tied up i go back to the running back in the flats as it's always important to get your opponents to focus their attention somewhere to open up the rest of the offense so i go back to him on back-to-back -back plays until he stops it then on the next play i try to set up another one play touchdown but the pressure forces me to run for the first down instead as all he's doing now is running the db fire too he gets me into a third and ten and i decide to switch over to my 
my PA fork play, which is another play I just put out a video about. I'll once again have a link in the description as I pick up the first down. And now that I am close to the red zone, I'm going to start running the ball with the halfback counter. There's two ways that you can get a huge advantage with this run play. One way is by motioning across the receiver into a bunch like this, which you can really do to either side of the formation. And just watch how the blocking sets up as we get into the end zone, almost untouched from 23 yards away. Back on defense, the coverage and the pressure are still doing its thing as he has to run for it with his cornerback and we almost get a fumble in the next play that he was lucky when out of bounds. On the next play, nothing is open again, but this time he throws it away. He goes for it on fourth down, and this time he uses my own play against me in the RPL reflat wheel. And he gets a big catch and run as no one can tackle Diggs. Sit your ass down. But he can't run that play twice as I am now watching it. So on the next play, he runs something else, and my man coverage is all over that for an interception. Gotcha, bitch. I don't have a lot of time, so I try to set up a one play touchdown, but the pressure blows it up as he is now running all types of man zero blitzes. So on third down, I run the Saints fork just to reset the downs. Then with 29 seconds left, I go back to the PA shot seams. It is a one play touchdown against most coverages, including man zero. Only this time, I'm going to use my motion to motion over the running back and put him on a pass block as this is the best way to pick up the pressure. Break yourself, fool! He gets the ball back after the second half, but my cover two is still locking up as his intended target has been the sideline more than his receivers. He tries to run an option, but I have my coaching adjustments set. Nope. So on third and nine, the coverage is clamping and the pressure gets through to force a quick fourth and nine that he decides to go for. I decide to play down with my safety on the side that only has one receiver, but since nothing is getting open anywhere else, I figured he would try to take a shot. So I bait him into throwing it up gotcha, bitch. and I come down with another pick that wasn't even close. And now my my goal is to kill some clock, so I make my flat adjustment one more time before going back to the 0-1 trap adjustment as I am almost averaging 6 yards a carry. I can tell he's in the Overstone Brave, so I know the running back is wide open for another first down. And now, on first down, I decide to take another shot with the Saints in. Only this time, I know he is in a man zero, so I don't make the motion. And if I didn't have my slowest receiver here, I probably would have had a one play touchdown. No big deal though, as I score on a zig route in the very next play. Back on defense though, despite the big lead, I play too aggressive with the safety and even though I'm behind Gabriel Davis, he out sprints me with the ball in the air again. Like how fast is this guy because he's running like Tyreek Hill. Then on defense, he switches over to cover four match, and I try to set up a one play touchdown, Dude. but he doesn't get the separation, and now I let him right back into the game. He gets a big run on first down in the next series before threading the needle over the middle with Josh Allen on fire. On the next run, I take care of things myself before he hurries me up and just tries to throw it out of bounds from the pressure. Then on third and goal, he comes out with that glitchy RPO read flat wheel play once again, and the trick to stopping this play is to simply guess pass. This is because this is technically a read option run play where the line allows a free defender right up the middle. So if you guess pass, he will go straight for the quarterback resulting in an instant QB hit. He clearly doesn't know that as he uses the exact same play on fourth down again only to see the exact same result as he isn't even able to get a pass away. <laughs> Now in the fourth quarter, I go back to running the ball. You can also motion the receiver away from the run to get the exact same advantage as sometimes it will pull a defender away from the area you're running as we get another big run. Then on the next play, the PA shot seems has a speed out route that beats man coverage too. So on the next play, we use that to pick up the first down. On the next play though, I try to switch it up and instead take a big sack to get into a third and a mile. And since he is running cover four quarters and backing everyone up, I decide to try my cover four one play touchdown from the gun stack Y flex since he hasn't seen this formation all game. So I make my adjustment and even with the coverage backed off, we still split the safeties. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> and get the first down. So since he's still playing off, I take the speed route on the next play to get closer to the first down before going back to the inside zone for another big run as I'm now over 400 yards on the day. On the next play, I go back to the counter run as I'm just running all over the place, left, right, and center. And now I'm in kill clock mode as I hit the wheel route in the flats. I can't help but notice that the wheel route by the receiver on the other side was wide open as well. So on the next play, I go right back to it and sure enough, that route is even glitchier as it gets open right away for the first down against most zones. So on the next play, I do it again. And this thing is like a handoff as we punch it in and my opponent is seeing enough as he pulls the ripcord before the score can even update. See ya! So that's that's the video. If you guys enjoy the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have some of the videos that I was mentioning earlier popping up on screen like some of the offenses and defense I was using in this gameplay. So if you want to see more, just click the links as I'm sure it'll help with your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out.
Show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.